What's going on guys, Andrew Pilikaki here back with another video. Today I'm going to be previewing the Toronto Maple Leafs versus the Boston Bruins uh, for October 22nd at TD Garden. The Leafs are going from Toronto to Boston. Of course, last night they lost their game 4-3 to the Columbus Blue Jackets in overtime, a game that they needed to win. Now you're moving on to a team that you just beat in overtime uh, with a really good effort and a huge effort from your goaltender. Now you're relying on your backup to give you a good performance and you're walking into a hostile environment. TD Garden has really good fans. Bruins fans are very passionate and uh, they've got a very good hockey team. So you got to hope that you can play better than you did last night in Columbus and not give away the puck so much because you can't do that against Boston. They've got a far better team and they'll hurt you in a million different ways. Physically, mentally, and offensively. They know how to do it all. So starting goaltenders, Michael Hutchinson. I've said this a million times in the past two days. I have no idea why Frederick Anderson started the game against Columbus. I don't care what anybody says. You have to play your better goaltender against a better team. And as far as I know, at the time I'm recording this, Freddie Anderson's not playing, and it will be Michael Hutchinson, uh, as Freddie stopped a lot of shots last night. Again, it could be I could be wrong. I don't know if Babcock's going to pull our leg and put Freddie in net. But at the time I'm recording this, it's still Michael Hutchinson that's going to be starting the game against Tuka Rask who is having a pretty good start to his year, and by pretty good, I mean pretty damn good. 3-0-1, 1.72 goals against average, uh, and a save percentage of 946 with a shutout. Uh, Pasternak started off the year with nine goals. He's really good. He's in my hockey pool. I think you guys know that. And Marshan also is in my hockey pool. So I want them to get points, but just not against the Leafs. They did last game, and the Leafs ended up winning, so that's fine. If they want to get a couple points and the Leafs still win... I'm cool with that, but the Leafs got to win the games. Uh, Morgan Riley has nine assists, while Marshan has eight. Uh, Matthews has seven goals, well, or actually has eight now, while Pasternak has nine. Freddie has five wins, Rask has three, uh, and those numbers obviously are changing day to day. A bunch of injuries on both sides, but, you know, that doesn't change anything. These Leafs versus Bruin, Bruins games are really good. Now, uh, obviously, like three or four days ago, whenever it was, or two days ago, uh, the Leafs and Bruins played, and it got to overtime and the Leafs ended up winning that game. Well, like I mentioned, the Bruins got a ton of shots on goal with a different goalie in Frederick Anderson in the net. If that happens against Michael Hutchinson, I hate to say it, but there's a better chance that this game could get away from the Toronto Maple Leafs very fast. You need to find a way to play better defensively. You need to lock down that top line of Marchand, Bergeron, and Pasternak. It's nearly impossible. They're some of the best players in the game. You've got to find a way to keep them off the score sheet. But like I said, if the Leafs are winning... And they, they end up winning the game and pass the scores a couple and the Leafs still win the game. I guess I won't be too angry because I need him to get me some points in my pool. I keep floating around first place and fourth place. I need to stay in first. So uh, Leafs, you got to win for me. But Pasternak, you can score a couple if you want. And Marchand could assist them. I, I mean, I can't believe I'm even saying that. But the Leafs got to win. They have to win. If they get points and the, and the Leafs lose, then I'll be ticked off. I don't care about the points. I want the Leafs to win. But enough about fantasy hockey. But definitely like the last effort the Leafs showed a lot of uh, poise they they wanted to win that game but the problem is is that you know you can't give up that many shots I'm going to keep bringing it up you cannot give up that many shots against the Bruins you got to put that pressure on Tuka Rask because if he if Rask gets going and, and he starts making saves and he looks like he's comfortable in the net the Leafs are going to be in trouble you have to find ways to beat that guy too you know, there's some guys that have his number, like Austin Matthews. He's a guy that scores a lot against them. But, I mean, at this point, Matthews scores a lot against everybody. But this game is always fun. The rivalry is fun. A lot of people say, oh, I hate Boston, hate this, hate that. Of course you can. Of course you can. That's what rivalries are for. But at the same time, when you wake up and know that there's going to be a fun, you know, entertaining, physical matchup, you know, between two amazing teams, great players on both sides, the amazing two-way player in Patrice Bergeron, kind of the same thing in Matthews. He's not at Bergeron's level on two-way play. I don't care what anybody says. Pasternak, an amazing goal scorer. Same thing with guys, you know, like Tavares, who's injured. But, you know, Matthews, in this case, he can rip goals too. You've got Marchand, who can be a bit of a pest. He knows how to, to annoy people. The Leafs have a couple guys like that this year. Janssen's becoming a guy like that. Um, I, I, I really enjoy games like this. And I'm and I'm I'm really gonna enjoy the game tonight. I you know I'm not a big fan. Obviously I'm a Leaf fan. Of, I'm not a huge fan of the Bruins. I, I'm a Leaf fan. Of, that's it. That's my team. But I love watching good hockey. And whether you like them or not, the Bruins are good hockey. They they are good to watch. They're fun to watch. They know how to get it done. So hopefully you guys will enjoy this game tonight. If you're new, make sure to subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. What's your predictions down below? Tell me the score. What's gonna happen? And uh, yeah, hopefully I'll see you guys. 
in the next video or stream. Peace.